I've been working hard. <laughs> Hey guys, how you doing? Hi. What are we gonna do today? Oh, we're gonna work on the steps today. The entry steps. The entryway. Yes. That has carpet from 1996. I don't know how old the plastic is, but it has to be that old too. 1996? Yeah. And it's stained, and when you first walk in the coach, that's the first thing you see. And it looks bad. It and does look bad. We've tried to get the stains out, I have. I've, we've used, uh, I can't think of that. It's an industrial carpet cleaner zip, zap, zap, zip, zip, zap. Zip it, Skippy. Zip. 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 That's what it is, zip. zip. Uh, <laughs> and it, it did work okay, okay, but it's still, uh, we'll do a closer up shot and you'll see what I'm talking about. It. But we went and bought tiles. It's sticky tiles. Uh, I, I hope they're gonna work. The one is that we're putting down to step on, what's it called? Travertine. Travertine. Uh, it's kind of a thick, but this is the color we're looking at right now to step down on. And then the sides are not as thick, but it's this color, which will be on the sides in the where the uh, carpet, carpet is now. Is. So there's, you gotta really get the surface really, really clean and we're probably even gonna put a little bit of glue down, spread it out, and then set these down. Mm -hmm. uh, just because they're just because <laughs> they're in the entryway and they're gonna get a lot of heavy traffic in and out. Okay. Uh, and then of course we'll caulk around to keep all the moisture out, but let's do it. These long tiles, we're just- Let's not do it. Let's not do it. Let's tell them about these tiles. So why'd we do two colors? Well, I think it looks better when you have a little bit of contrast. Yeah. So I agree. these little these are vinyl tiles here, the black one or the brown one. It's a vinyl tile. And it was what, forty eight cents a sheet? For these. Yes. Forty eight cents. Now this one's travertine and it was two fifty two forty nine. Something like that. Two fifty a sheet. These are just about this much too short. Yeah. To go all the way across Here's the over step. A bit. And uh I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not, but it's about an inch too short. Well, we'll see. Okay, so it's the white one that's gone down. Correct. That one in. So we lay this one down, and that's snug. Now it's up against the carpet, so it may even go a little bit more. But we're about three fingers too short on the side. But when you do the back. Where you're, where you'll kick. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably three inches. Maybe four, three and a half, maybe four inches up mm -hmm. here. But my concern, the grain's going this way. When you lay it down and cut that, now the grain's going the opposite way of the one it's laying down. She says it's gonna be all right. It's tile. It'll be okay. You can mix those grains. Heck, we might even cut it down the middle and stuff it in the middle. Yeah, Never then you'd have, to, you'd have to seal that. Never know. Yeah. So, <laughs> let's get started with this. First of all, we got to tear this old out. You can see this carpet from years and years of use is just dirty. It looks a lot worse <laughs> since it's ripped out than it did when it was uh, sitting in there. We're going to use them for patterns, so they come out pretty simple. A uh, bunch of staples. I got to get all the staples out, but it wasn't glued. It might have been at one time on here. Kind of looks like it might have been, but. Yeah, wasn't bad at all. And there it is. It wasn't real bad. Uh, the staples, what, 10 in each side and each step and each back? I mean, yeah. you can kind of see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, probably maybe 12. I mean, it wasn't real bad. We, uh, we had a Class C 
that I took the carpet out of the bathroom. Whoa. It had, probably had a thousand staples in it. This wasn't bad. Hey, <laughs> much crunched down. <laughs> I got my camera set for down here. But uh, we're trying to, these, these tiles, every one of them has a different design in it. Every one of them. So we're trying to find, because we're, the tiles this way aren't long enough. The step is three inches wider than the tile is. So we're trying to find one that matches up. Because we're gonna have to add like a three inch sliver and I don't want it to look all ghetto. It's tile, it's not I supposed know, to match. I know. <laughs> but with that said, uh, let me <laughs> zoom down here. We went to Home Depot and I hear thunder. I do too. <laughs> Whoops. All right there, we went to Home Depot and I wanted to get, I don't know, it's like a subflooring you get and you put down here and it has all the little marks for your nails and they really didn't have it. And I talked to five different people that had us going from one end of the store to the other end right. of the store. So we decided that we would have had to make a trip to Lowe's, which is too 20 far. Miles yeah. Away. And this is a small area. I don't think it's going to matter much. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> But uh, this is what we're going to do. We bought some, uh, where's that stuff at? It's over there. Self stick tile primer. And we're going to put that down and it'll help make it stickier. So. It's the self stick primer. Uh, you put it down, you paint it on onto this surface. You let it set for 90 minutes and then you peel and put them down. So what we're going to do is we're going to get everything pre-cut, laid out, and then hopefully beat this storm <laughs> that's on uh -huh. our back door so we'll be right back Okay, so this is what we got so far. It's nothing, nothing's glued in. It's just sitting in there. The you can still see the, the like the white tape here and here. So of course, obviously that'll be gone. But we're trying to match these tiles up to where they're kind of you know the same. It's really hard to do, but there's the side. Just like I said, down there, that tape won't be there. We have a piece cut for right here, and then we have the angle, it's called something, piece that goes there. It's a kick plate, I think. I don't know what it is. Stair edging. Stair edging, that's what we got. And then she's cutting this piece right now, so. Okay, nothing is glued. Nope. This is what we got so far. Looks like it'll fit. <laughs> <laughs> But once it gets all tacky, I mean, we got it pretty tight because I don't want the water. But uh, once it gets tacky with that glue, uh, we're going to have our work cut out. But. And it is really humid today. It's going to take that glue probably all of 90 minutes to dry. And we won't be able to walk in and out. I think it looks good. It sure changes the whole entrance. Okay. So we were prepped. Look at you. You got to make sure we're doing it right, Gus. Yeah. He sits right there the whole time. This is all prepped. Now, the only problem is gluing the tile down to this, hold that, down to this step right here because, sorry, because if I ever have to get back into my steps, I said this previous, I have to be able to get to these, these holes right here and here for that, it's like a carriage bolt that goes down through there. So what we did is we saved this bottom piece 
fits in here. I'm trying to do it one hand. Fits in here like that. And what we're going to do is glue the tile down on that. And in theory, it should work. If we ever have to dig it up, we're going to ruin the tile anyway. So. Yeah, but that should come up without ruining the but tile's the come, purpose. It should come up without ruining the wood. It's just going to make it easier for both of us. All Pro of us. Probably me more than anything. <laughs> but but that's, that's the plan. It's going to stick to it. We looked at it. We're going to put the little glue stuff down, and then the tile itself has an adhesive back. So once it's peeled, it should adhere to it really good. Uh, so Ugh. let's get started. This is what we're using. Oh. Yeah, right there. Self-stick primer, tile primer. So it takes about an hour. It's kind of humid out, so we're expecting it to take a little longer. Yeah. Now, I did have my GoPro mounted on the counter right here mm. and shooting down mm. well then all of a sudden being the fashion of GoPro it decided to take a dump and now I can't get it turned back on it's been plugged in for an hour and a half and the SD cards empty it's just I have a lot of trouble with that GoPro so we're just gonna wing it with the big camera as you can see kind of looks like milk doesn't it it does it's, it's really the same thin consistency hey your hair, hair's almost getting in it oh it uh you probably can't see in that bowl, but it almost looks like milk, but it's a primer glue, so I don't know how tacky it'll actually get. Because she says it doesn't feel tacky at all right now. No. So. We'll give it some time. See what we got. We got nothing but time. That's fact. All right, so we got the bottom and the backs on. I think it looks pretty good. Eh. You still see a little bit of the seam. But it is what it is. Unless we went with just solid linoleum and cut it to fit and glued it and eh. nah, we'll stick with this. So we are just about done with it. Oh, she's caulking here on this side. Sorry, I'm in your no, way. No, no, no. Fine. She's caulking because she is a better caulker than I am. <laughs> I don't know. There's a joke in there. I'm sure. I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, all the the each individual steps gonna get caulked on both sides and probably gonna find some molding to tack up there just to dress it up a little bit but I think it looks a heck of a lot better than that old carpet that was 22 years old all right so this is the finished product it is caulked but we're gonna get some molding and go like on that around them edges. I ain't real crazy about that, but uh, the lines like that, that, and that doesn't look bad. They're and, just seams. Uh, they're seams. There's no other way to do it. Uh, the only other thing we could have done is... <laughs> I've been working hard. Wait a minute, focusing. Focus! There you go. I've been working hard. <laughs> well, I didn't mean a retake. <laughs> the only other thing we probably could have done, and it may have turned out a little better, is linoleum, and cut it all to fit, and then the gluing and the. And that's not gonna happen. Uh, you no. know. It is what it is. I think it looks good. I think it looks a heck of a lot better than it did. It looks a whole lot better than it did. Yep. There's a couple. Well, there's probably more than a couple imperfections. <laughs> that's okay. But how much total cost? We figured it up last right after we take the other pieces back. After we take the other pieces back, it's going to be less than $20. 20 bucks. About $18. Because we got five too many pieces. 18 to 20 bucks. Yep. Plus the That's molding. That's not the molding. A couple few bucks for the molding. I don't know what the molding is. Probably an eight foot cost. piece, six foot piece will probably do it all. Yeah. So there it is, guys. Uh, I'm sure you didn't learn anything. <laughs> <laughs> This but, was not a how-to. This is was what we did. This is <laughs> what we got to do today. But that's it. Yeah. It's done, and I think it looks a heck of a lot better. So that paint and the the primer stuff was the paint did not work. The tacky stuff that soaked it up. Our batteries yeah, are ready to die. Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Watch YouTube. Us on, you watch us on YouTube. YouTube, <laughs> Instagram, Facebook. and Facebook. See you guys. Thumbs later. up.